eight hours later they take it down like fucking delete it like thanos like snap their fingers it's gone it's dead so i message the what i assumed is the dev or the mod who's kind of in charge and i got ghosted you um uh, you ever you ever done butt chugging this is gonna be a hot take i think to do content creation you have to be a little bit of a narcissist i i have to ask you do you know what eel soup is i just got sex with an alligator cocktail wrist <laughs> <laughs> Gremlins, guys, welcome back to another Gremlin Gazette. I am joined today by the one and only Creepy Banana. Creepy, welcome to the Gazette. How are you doing, man? Oh, shit, dude, you're muted. What happened? <laughs> what happened? That it was worked out. I was oh. testing you. That was all oh, the shit, oh. dude, test. All right, well, it works now. We're good, guys. Hey, man, thanks again for joining the stream. Um, we got, we got a, a pretty action packed list of content to go over you guys. Um, for those of you guys that caught the beef Lord, uh, gremlin gazette last week or a couple weeks ago, we're, we're probably going to be on par with that. I think, I think it's going to be, it's going to be uh pretty fucking wild, but let's get started. You guys, let's get right into it. Creepy again. Thank you so much for joining. Why don't we get started with. You know, kind of a quick intro for you, um, for folks that may not know your channel. Um, you know, what got you into YouTube? What got you into content creation? And uh, also, what just got you into Foxhole? Uh, damn, okay. So, what got me into YouTube? Uh, well, <laughs> this isn't my first channel that I've made. I have, like, other channels. I used to do, like, commentary and uh, like game commentary and stuff like that. This is just the longest channel that I've been actively working on. So uh, yeah, I've always been like into making videos. It's one of my hobbies, I guess I could say. And yeah, so <laughs> that's it. And for Foxhole, it's just, um, I've always like um, liked the idea of like an MMO game like Foxhole. But I've never like found anything like that. I used to play MMOs back in the day, like World of Warcraft and stuff, mm -hmm. like uh, Guild Wars and stuff like that. You don't look like but it, then... man. You don't look nah. like the WoW player. I'm telling you. <laughs> I I used to look like it. I used to look like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, one of my friends in high school that is like 2018, I think, was like, "Yo, do you know Foxhole?" I'm like, "What? No." He's like, "Do you know Running with Rifles?" I'm like, "No. What is that?" He's like, "Well, it's like a MMO where." There's a bunch of sh soldiers and you got to fight like a war that lasts like a week or something. And I'm like, yo, this sounds cool. So we test it out, we go to a front line. We get our ass whooped. We're like, ah, oh, damn. Okay. Then we see like the armored cars. We're like, yo, we got to make that. So we go in the back line. We spend like two hours trying to figure out how to make it. We go to a front line, instantly die. We're like, okay, we're not playing this ever again. We uninstalled it instantly. And then, <laughs> then like, um, I think February of 2019 is when I got back into it. And then I was like, yo, this is a really fun game. Why don't I make like videos on it? And then fe uh, April of 2019, literally five years to this day, I started the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. The rest is history. God damn. Yep. I feel like that's like a similar story to a lot of other content creators that have made videos on Fox. So like that. That's literally like what you were describing with wanting a MMO, like massive um, world where you're just like having a smaller impact in it, but like it's persistent. That's something so unique that I was mm -hmm. looking forward to. But I also quit like literally day one of playing the game. I was like, fucking this, this game <laughs> that makes no fucking sense, dude. I uninstalled it. And it wasn't until like my friends like started playing more and they were like, you got to get back into this because it's actually good now. I'm like, all right, okay. But um yeah, funny, funny how it's always like very similar stories like that. Um, but uh, that's cool. Yeah, so you, you've been playing for quite a while then, right? Because you started, what would you say, four years ago? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, something like that. Nice. Yeah, I have uh, don't have that much experience, but. <laughs> well, you... I don't either. I just I, I meme around most of the time. That's... I have no clue what I'm doing half of the time. So. That's the whole point, man. <laughs> that's the whole point. I, I'm not a. I don't play the game to be sweaty. That's just the way to play it. But uh, speaking of sweaty, speaking of funny moments of memeing, 
So uh, I mentioned this before we started the stream. I was asking you if you heard anything about the uh, recent Foxhole community highlight. And uh, you said you, you didn't know what was going on. So for those yeah. of you in the chat that also don't know what's going on, this is some, like, I, I don't even know what to say, man. This is fucking goofy. So I'll paint the picture here. Um, day one, or like a couple days before the war starts, this recent war, um, the the devs kickstart the community um, community content highlights again, right? So like you can go on their blog, they'll post a bunch of different artworks, videos from content creators, and just like, you know, things that were posted in the Foxhole creative channel, right? right? So, <clears throat> you know, I was going through them because I always like looking at what people make. And, you know, I saw like Rob's video. I think I saw a Frerich video posted there. Um, and then I saw my video for the Gremlin Gazette. I'm like, holy shit, that's awesome. Like, I didn't think that was going to be a thing. Um, my first reaction when somebody else commented about it in the Discord was like, yo, check this out. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. That's because they that was when the Beef Lord video came out. And um, we talked about some, let's just say, less than savory topics. There was... Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, guys. It wasn't it wasn't anything crazy. We were just talking about you know geopolitical issues in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, we were shit. just okay. we were just talking about furries um, and a little bit of eel soup. Like, there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, come on. So they had it on there. Yeah, normal conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even. I don't even think they highlighted that. They just highlighted the idea of the Gremlin Gazette. And like just generally how many episodes there were. So it wasn't like they were talking about like that recent episode. Eight hours later, they take it down. They just fucking boop, like fucking delete it. Like Thanos like snap their fingers. It's gone. It's dead. And uh, <laughs> I'm just like, what? So I message the what I assumed is the dev or the mod who's kind of in charge of that. And I'm like, hey, man, um, any reason why my thing was removed with like the screenshot of like it being there and now it not being there and i got ghosted i'm <laughs> just like oh shit dude come on but uh yeah i didn't know if you had heard about that but dude that like that shit is so fucking wild like i don't i want to know who 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 fucking snitched which one of you guys snitched there's no <laughs> way the devs watch that there's no way one of you guys had to have been like this guy fucking hates jews did you know that this guy fucking fucking Fucking, he's crazy, man. He's crazy. BT Dubs, yeah, I'm, I'm Jewish, I man. Come I on. don't know. I don't know about uh, the whole. I feel like the devs have always been like bad at like highlighting smaller content creators. Um, yeah, I think that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of weird that they removed it. I don't know what to <laughs> say to that. <laughs> Hey man, it is a misclick, bro. <laughs> misclick, yeah, exactly, dude. They they are having server hamster issues, and it just killed the fucking one one video there. Hey man, I'm not I'm not hurt up. Don't get it twisted. I'm not like like poo poo on the devs. Everyone uninstall the game, like fucking downvote. Terrible on Steam. Um, I just thought it was funny that they would take it away, but that's uh that's not my choice. You know, that's it's their community highlight. They can do whatever they want with it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I. It's funny you mentioned that too about like the like highlighting smaller streamers because E Man, when I was talking with him about this, he was saying I like he wishes devs would like invite other streamers, smaller YouTubers who make just focusing on Foxhole content creation. I don't know if you thought differently or not, but like, do you think that there needs to be more like organization from Siege Camp and the people that make videos on their game? Yeah, I think, I mean, it would be a benefit for the community, 100%. I only recently, like, got into the whole dev circle, like, uh, when the ships update came. Mm -hmm. They contacted me. They were like, yo, you want to join the dev thing? I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting acknowledged. Uh, but yeah, I feel like they kind of focus on, and Eman probably said this as well, mm -hmm. they focus on people that have bigger audiences yeah not necessarily like into mmo or anything like that just big audiences and then they want like kind of get a little chunk of that audience to come play and i mean that's a viable strategy but i think it's also a good strategy to try to focus on 
the like people that are making foxhole content regularly to i don't know like support them a little bit because when they like um like when you open the game in the main menu you see like a couple of videos sometimes there right yeah uh every time my video has been there i've seen like a significant boost in viewership hmm. so i think you know it would be nice if they like you know uh showed some other dudes instead of like the same people no hate to the people that always get on there of course just yeah <laughs> i i feel like they've got their like um catalog of streamers where they they like the the con- like yeah Fer- Freric? i don't even know how you say his name god i gotta get that Fre- right yeah Fre- freak freak it's it's in dutch or something and i'm american dude i can't speak that shit <laughs> um nah like he, like his videos are super super helpful and they're like well done like just top-notch um quality and they they're very clear i think that's the main thing right is like when you're trying to teach new players you gotta be very clear and concise and he does a yeah. great job at that so uh, i'm i feel like having stuff like that like if they had a dedicated like tutorial video page that'd be cool and they just like you know plucked videos that they saw on youtube that people made um, to kind of cobble it all together that I mean that right there would be better than what they already <laughs> already have for yeah, yeah tutorial but uh yeah I mean thing right now is just a bunch of signs and stuff yeah just read the sign click this button there you go now you know how to play the <laughs> game you guys it's literally 1.0 already I don't know what you guys are complaining about but um yeah speaking of 1.0 already um so have you played much of this war yet or no uh I've played like two three days i've i've only been on tempest though i've been enjoying the the island thing oh yeah island boy you uh you doing any like naval landings or early stuff early war uh, there or? yeah we did like a landing on surge but then we got kicked off and then we stole like gunboats it was funny <laughs> they like they like sailed close to me and i just hopped on mm-hmm. and punched people <laughs> damn i um I haven't been able to play too much since I had uh, some IRL stuff happening, which it always it always coincides with the start of a war. I swear to God, dude, I'm never like just full week free to to grind Foxel. But uh, dude, there was just a day one shit show because we were there originally for Tuesday, and then they had to like push back the the war for some like massive bug or whatever issue that was going on. Oh, yeah, I I don't even know was it ever released. I don't know if Chad knows, but I, I don't even think they released like what the main reason was. It was just some sort of random glitch or bug that um, just a made it bug some... right now where you can't commit to a faction, right? There's yeah, there's Everything that. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can just play both factions right now, dude. Yeah, and I and there was there was issues with like I think Westgate and Asheville just kept fucking dying. Like the servers would just shut down oh, shit. in those regions, so the entire West was like at a standstill. Um. And I'm just like, damn, how do you guys, how does this happen after, like, years of development? There's still, like, this like, crazy fucking, like, connection issues going on. I mean, like, I, I've got my own, like, thoughts and opinions on the server stability stuff. But have, have you seen, like, a lot of issues with connection or, like, server getting into the game? Uh, For me, not really. But no. I don't know. I, I have decent internet. Okay. So. I am um, blessed. Yeah, I mean that. I wish I was you. I was, I was, uh, I was trying to um, do some frontline fighting. I think day one, and it was just like a lag fest in Drown Vale. Like you, you could not even fucking walk. Um, Damn, I don't know what the deal I'm is. The Tempest, bro, it's chill as hell. I, I no might. Lag. Yeah. <laughs> the just island hikes is seems, the island. Yeah, they seem really chill. Um. But, uh, and I, I don't know if you heard about, like, the, because, well, you're on Tempest, I feel like you should, but, like, um, the, the frigate hex, or, yeah, no, the frigate change, not hex, the frigate change that happened, where it doesn't move uh, the same way it used to be now. Oh. Huh. It's, like, uh, the actual physics for, it's, it, it's the same physics they used for the large ships, but for the frigate. So it moves slow as fuck, and you have to, like turn it i'm sorry iron ship yeah iron ship the fucking oh, iron okay. ship dude not yeah. the frigate what are we yeah, talking yeah. about dude that like, yo what that Is iron ship no i mean yeah they got the frigates but not out yet um 
I think actually in a couple of days they should be building them. But um, no, the iron ship, dude, the fucking iron. I was just trying to do water lodge yesterday. And I'm like, what the hell is this? When did they make this change? It wasn't in the patch notes. What the fuck? Why do they hate Lodgy Man? Come on. Lodgy Man already has it so rough. Just uh, use a barge. Put a, put a truck on it. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. Dude, that, that was the way I would do it too. When I was like just starting off with Foxhole, I would like put a CV or like a, a truck on a barge. Just go to some random island and uh, just build a base by myself. <laughs> Like, can you imagine just like a warrant officer just like going out there? I think I recorded one where the warrants brought like tanks and there was like guys in flamethrowers. They couldn't kill it, dude. They just kept coming back and whipping their ass. <laughs> Some more spank ass. Um, so you're working with, are you working with E-Man this war too? Uh, yeah, I always just hop on with his uh, squad. Nice. Nice. I, um, I know we're going to be doing a lot of submarine stuff have you seen anything about the subs you've actually tried the subs right uh yeah the the collie sub is slow as fuck yeah bro. what the hell it's yeah. insane it's but i feel like naval warfare is so boring dude it's more fun to capture a boat than actually fight with it it's like two seconds of fighting mm -hmm. and then whoever shoots first and doesn't miss wins mm -hmm. at least that's how i how i've experienced it totally I, I feel the same way. I miss the I miss the white whale. I miss the white whale invasions. That was always a lot of fun. I know like the long hook is supposed to replace that, but I'll I'll keep fucking simping for that white whale, bro. Hundred R mats, easy, any day. But do you um did you ever use the white whale at all or no? Actually, never. No, I've always seen like people landing, and then I go like try to help from like the other side but i've never been on a landing dude yeah those were those were a lot of fun years it was like easy low barrier to entry and like the goofiest shit where you can just get everyone in world chat to come and <laughs> do a landing with you but yeah i don't i don't know man with like the because i was i was testing out the um dev branch with like e-man Alato, some of the other guys when we were doing a large like naval versus naval fight and the, the disconnects so i was just like dude i don't know if i want to take a big ship oh yeah, yeah, risk yeah. Having at the that border yeah, yeah 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 that was uh that was annoying <laughs> yeah and i think people that got in were like lagging like crazy they couldn't really do anything either i'm like oh well hopefully uh they, they were saying that i guess like main branch is more beefy than more dev stable, branch right? yeah 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 but we'll see. I mean, but still, I don't know. It's it's kind of scary when you're uh, crossing with that of a, uh, that expensive of a thing, and then everybody disconnects, and you're like, "Oh no, get in, get in." Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of a uh, kind of like out of left field, and we're like going way off of War One Twelve stuff. But um, I just I I have to ask you. Um, do you know what eel oh. soup is? <laughs> no. You don't know what eel soup is? No. Um, I'm not going to play it. Eels or... No. No, it's it's oh, it's God. not. Um I'll send you the video that Beef Lord sent me, but now, you know, I don't want to I don't want to playing right now. I, I don't think that's going to be good for TOS, but um it's just uh this lady just does some stuff with eels and um oh, I can already figure out. The thing is that it's due to a rare medical condition, right? So you can't be mad at the topic wait what yeah it's it's a medical condition that's why I'm she's got to use now yeah she, she has to do this for a medical condition you guys that's that's the whole part that's lost in translation it's for a good cause okay but <laughs> yeah i mean I, we'll, we'll talk about it off stream a little bit more but i just needed to know if you knew what eel soup was okay <laughs> <laughs> oh man um yeah man dude i'm i, I wanted to play some more um box this week but i'm gonna be gone i'm actually gonna be in hawaii for a couple weeks oh. yeah uh i don't know uh beef lord lives out there but he's a yeah, yeah, full-on yeah. hawaiian uh, i'm gonna chill at his place he's gonna sleep on the floor i'll be sleeping in the bed <laughs> um his parents are super cool i don't know why they keep saying like he's he's their angel i mean that guy's a deviant but <laughs> but i mean it's it's like daddy's a little boy you know so 
uh, super yeah, nice guy. We're gonna. Your flow is funny as hell. Yeah, he is. We're gonna hit the gym. I don't know. Do you do you go to the gym often or no? Uh, I have a membership. Uh, <laughs> That's how it all starts. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got this membership at fucking Planet Fitness, guys. Only cost me ten dollars a month. Why would I get rid of it? I'm gonna go to the gym. Yeah, I, I go like I have my moments where I'm like, okay, for a whole month I'm going, and then I'm like, shit, I can't. Like I don't know. It's just, I'm yeah, I'm it's not the- like super into the whole getting fit i mean i i'm i'm good right now you know but uh yeah <laughs> yeah i used to go like every day like this was like pre-covid I would, I would go every day me and the wife and uh i think we would just skip like maybe two or three days out of the week just to have I rest think. days but um after covid happened i was like oh i'm out of i'm out of the routine and now i'm like ah man i can't get back like there's no way i just um, yeah. i don't know i i it, it's always that hurdle, that initial hurdle. But after that, I, I could probably stick with it. I've just been doing fencing now. That's like my main way of staying in shape. Fencing, the sword thing or the needle. Thing. Yeah, 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 sword yeah. fighting. Okay. But like the the classical version, not the. I think there's a different one where it's like actual like a martial art of you're using long swords or whatever other swords, and I don't know how the rules work. I, I've just seen a video of it, but no, this is like the classical like. On guard, like on fucking, guard, I'm gonna yeah. stab you. <laughs> um, oh, that's cool though. Yeah, so that that's a lot of fun. I like, uh, I like getting back into that. I gotta do water polo again at some point when it's warmer. But is that big in? Uh, where, where are you at again? Are you in Amsterdam or? Uh, no, Belgium. Belgium. Uh, yeah, the country next to it. Hell yeah, dude. Next, uh, Netherlands. And you you grew up there? Or were you just like? Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't grow up. I, I was born in a different city, but now I, I was gr- gr- blah, blah, blah. English. Holy shit. I was born in a different city in Belgium, but yeah. I grew up in the city where I'm at now. And it's like a very historical city. It's, uh, uh I think you pronounce it Bruges in, in English. Bruges. We pronounce it Brugge. Oh, okay. It just means bridge. <laughs> Are there a lot of bridges in town? Yeah, yeah there's a lot of bridges. Uh. Classic. It's like the the Venice of the North. That's the the saying, I guess. Shit, dude, is that a good thing? I mean, Venice is kind of going underwater. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but there's Fuck. no sea here, so we're good. Oh, okay, that's fine. Just so you're canals. a better Venice. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta see Venice before that bitch goes underwater. I swear. I haven't I've I haven't traveled to Europe in a long time. Only place I went to, well, two places. I went to. Spain for like a couple weeks and then I went to the UK which was absolutely terrible. Holy cow. Yeah, fucking UK, London. If if it's bad weather, you're gonna it's not gonna be fun. It was a dumpster fire, bro. It was so dude. <laughs> all right. So no okay. This picture picture Grumblo in his in his college years, right? He's you know, he's a little uh-huh. tight on money, so he's gotta make it stretch. So he's he's looking at Airbnbs in London. Those things are fucking expensive. So I find one that's like I don't know, like 150 uh, pounds, maybe like 150 pounds a night. I'm like, okay, this is a lot, a lot more reasonable. Everything was like double that. It was like a shared uh, Airbnb where like the family lived in the flat and there were like two or three spare rooms and like random people would like live in there too. And I'm like, okay, so this is not what I expected from the listing at all. <laughs> I thought it was like an actual like private place and that's what they marketed it as. But what they actually meant was private room. Not private, like oh. whole thing, yeah. So, which, which I was like, ah, it's fine. Like, we we only needed a place to sleep, but uh, that was the first. Like, I was like, oh damn. Um, aside from like the rain, which I expected because it's literally like UK. Um, <laughs> everything closed at like four o'clock or like five o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This I'm not used to this at all. Like, we would try to go to a restaurant, it would be closed. We'd try to go to another restaurant, it was closed. Like oh okay okay we were lucky to find a bar that was open or like a pub. Wait, that's weird. What, four o'clock. Like yeah, like mean four p.m. or four a.m. Four four and five p.m. Like when people are leaving that's work. Weird. What the yeah, hell? I would like we yeah. we would like walk around to go yeah get get dinner and they they just were closed. I don't know if they're like closed to like set up for dinner versus lunch. Maybe that's what it was. But for how many times that happened, I don't even know, dude. Um, 
but the worst part <laughs> i'm like okay so we've got our living situation was fucked and our uh fucking uh whenever we try to do dinner plans is fucked we were gonna go um like sightseeing around uh london like go to a bunch of different museums and stuff and we start hearing like all these fucking cop cars and like helicopters flying everything's like it's like madness outside i'm like what's going on and i check my phone i go on uh like a news app and uh somebody got stabbed at the house of lords <laughs> and it was like a terrorist attack going on downtown which was like a five minute walk from us i'm like oh shit we're in victoria's secret and i'm like oh we're, we're safe like if there's a terrorist attack guys nobody's gonna go to a victoria's secret of all places <laughs> yeah you know so <laughs> so we we get back to the airbnb after and our airbnb lady is like why aren't you guys like walking around and doing stuff? And we're like, there was literally like an attack, like just a few minutes away from your place. And she's like, oh yeah, that happens all the time. Like, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, we're just going to take it easy, lady. We're just going to, we're going to hang out for a sec. But yeah, UK, that was a wild fucking time, dude. That was a wild time. Uh, uh, when was this? Like what year was it? 2015 or no, it was 2016. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. I mean, if you looked up, actually, I can look it up right now. House of Lords stabbing. Let's see. Did the dude survive or like what the fuck? Um, I think he did, but the guy who stabbed him definitely died. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Oh, dude, fucking, it's scrubbed. I have no idea. House of Lords stabbing. Yeah, it's not showing up now. That's weird. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. No, he did die. I'm deleting it. No, he did die. Fuck. Oh. Well, RIP, man. That sucks. But yeah. Yeah. Some lawmaker and um, and the guy who, who did the stabbing. But yeah, I don't know if we'll ever go back, man. I mean, that was... That was wild. Well, there's there's no stabbings here where, where I'm at, so you could always come here. <laughs> you know, we were talking about it. Like, my wife and I want to do a... Uh, like kind of a tour to Europe and just like visit a bunch of different countries because it's it's so easy, right? Like you just hop on the train or you can even yeah. just drive. It's not bad. But um, yeah, we want to do like uh, like start in Normandy, go through Belgium, go through Denmark, um, go visit like Amsterdam, um, check out like Italy because like I said, you gotta see Venice before it goes underwater. Um, yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll do that one of those days. I'll I'll hit you up. Will you let me sleep in your bed? Uh, in one of the rooms, not in my bed. What the course, hell, man? But yeah. See, no, 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 B, not in my bed. B-Floor's got that Hawaiian <laughs> hospitality. Like, he's letting me sleep in his bed. He was really, actually, he was adamant that I sleep in his bed. He was like, no, you cannot sleep anywhere else. Don't get a hotel. <laughs> Do, like, your wife's coming with. Both of you sleep in the bed. I'll be right next to you guys on the floor. It's fine. So, I don't know, man. He's He's a gentleman, is what he is. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, we'll we'll see. I gotta check out. I gotta check out some more countries. I want to go to Germany, but like not during Oktoberfest because here that that shit gets crazy. Um, but we'll see. I've never been, but presumably, yeah. Are you um you big into drinking at all or no? Eh, here and there. No, not really. Not that much. No. Oh, okay. I mean, the the drinking culture here is different than america would say there's a lot more <gasps> like there's there's beers that'll fuck you up if you uh if you uh, like shotgun them or anything like that so it's more like chill relaxed i think have you ever had a yeah. four loco i have no clue what that is oh fuck dude if you ever come to the u.s uh if we ever if we ever do a foxhole creator meetup at like twitchcon or some shit like uh, i'm giving you a four loco you're gonna shut no don't shotgun it don't don't shotgun it but I'll give you a four loco to try for sure. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. What is yeah. this? Four loco? Yeah, four loco. Um, yeah, four locos are. Uh, I think That's that was a beer. No, it's like um, I guess kind of it's like a like mixed an energy drink. drink. Yeah, it is an energy drink, but it's got al alcohol in it. It's like a malt, oh. malt liquor. I guess is oh, the best way to put it. I, I don't like malty stuff. Oh. Well, I mean, nobody likes yeah. malty stuff. You drink it to get fucked up. <laughs> That's the whole point, man. But uh, you know, it, you know, people say it tastes like ass. Um, I disagree. I think it tastes totally fine. It's good. Like, I don't like 
Colt 45s are like those malt beers. Um, but yeah, no, the, uh, the Four Locos, they taste good because they come in so many different flavors. Like you, you just get what you want and you're good. But I mean, you know, to each their own. Yeah, I guess. That's, uh, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> you, um, uh, you ever, you ever done butt chugging? No. What is that? <laughs> what? You, you chug the beer through your butt. No. You no, haven't done that? I've not done that. No. Oh, man. I mean, that's just, I guess me, you know, just American thing, but Again, I guess I'm, Europeans don't do I'm a very relaxed it. drinker. Yeah. You know, highly sophisticated. Your name is Creepy <laughs> Banana, and you don't butt chug beers or know what eel soup is. What the fuck is going on here, dude? Come on. <laughs> Look, I made this name when I was 14, man. Look. <laughs> that's honestly, though, that that's a good name at 14. My, my, yeah. uh, my, so this account that I'm using, it, it it's an old one for like 2008 and I think I was 12 or 13 at the time and my username was worse it was atrocious it was oh uh it was it was game lover 5 that's what it was game lover 5 yeah, I game mean Lo it's not that bad no nah, it's cringe it's cringe as fuck dude <laughs> it's so cringe so bad I uh you should have you should have gone with game lover 6 then you would have been fine I think. Game lover 6 was taken taken and game lover itself uh, was taken yeah so I had to go with game lover 5. I don't know why yeah. 6 but you know it's yeah but at, at least it's 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 all it's all under the bridge. I mentioned it before but like I when I had that username I was making like Minecraft videos. Did you also like Cuz you oh, said you have a bunch of different yeah. channels dude. Were you fucking around with Minecraft? Uh, on this channel, yeah, I was also fucking around with Minecraft. Nice. <laughs> How, how'd those go for you? Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, I had, like, the fucking, uh, like, hardcore music in the background as I'm building, like, a 3x3 three three base. Fucking, <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, why do I have Linkin Park playing right now as I'm walking through my SMP server? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we should, we should do a minecraft thing with with all like the the foxhole dudes like, i agree like a minecraft server that'd be funny we're uh we're um, working on that right now on on my discord we're doing like a oh, shit, community man. we've been we've been doing like community events um like just like a weekend where we play a different game instead of foxhole so we did project zomboid we did lethal company and uh now it's gonna be minecraft so i think actually we're gonna do that let me double check yeah on the 27th of april so in like three weeks here no two weeks so you're more than welcome to join I mean, but yeah we're gonna mess around a little bit there i am not familiar with any of the mods that like people are talking about so, something like create mod i haven't played like i have no clue I've, i haven't played minecraft enough to, to know what any of I that is i haven't modded minecraft in a while so i've got yeah. no clue man yeah but one of these days we're going to do a, and this goes into our next topic, but we're going to do a, a Rust community event. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be so nice. Mm -hmm. I, I hear you play a lot of Rust. <laughs> no, the opposite. I hear you're a I, veteran. I started a, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I had the game for a while, but I was always bad at it because I've always bad I've been bad at shooters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I only started playing when, like, I think it was during the lockdowns when, when everyone was doing, like, the RP thing. Um, and there was like this Rust RP thing going on, so I joined this like Rust RP server, mm -hmm. and it was really cringe. It's uh, I was like playing like a farmer or something. It was really bad, but uh, yeah, that's the only experience I have with Rust. I know how to how the food works. That's the only thing I know. You talking about like the potions or like the literal food? No, not even the potion. Literally just food. Like I I knew how to plant corn, and that was. Oh it. okay, gotcha. Yeah, I uh. I played right when Legacy ended, and then it like they completely revamped the game, which I, I loved way more because Legacy was so clunky. But uh, I do miss the like blueprints and barrels, and like that's how you kind of like progress through the tree instead of just like farming. Uh, what, what's it called? Scrap or whatever. Um, yeah, it's scrap. Yeah. Yeah. Then they did that whole like XP system, which was pretty cool too. I was I was down for that. Scrap is is fine, but. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just like the goofy shit that goes on there, but it's sweaty as fuck, man. I can't, I it can't get a base down. Yeah. yeah. You either have to have like a big group, I think, or just be like super good. That's what I want to do. Uh, whenever, God, I'm gonna like, I swear, I'm gonna put my thumb on the scale next time we vote on what community game to play because 
guys, we got to play Rust. All right, we have to play Rust. I'm making an executive decision. We're going to have a village in the water and we're just going to live out our lives at sea, fucking over every single base in the server. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> and I want all the Foxhole community, I want all everyone in the Foxhole community to join us for that. Actually, so we we were talking about um it was a, it was off stream, but uh somebody was talking about a um regiment in Foxhole that's looking to do I think next, like after this war ends, they're going to do a uh, Rust playthrough. I think it's CGB or CBG. Yeah, CGB. Um, so they were like asking if people wanted to like join them for that. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Like, let's go. Like, I'll get all the gremlins in. We got to get every single content creator to come in and just fuck up a server. That'd be so much fun. I feel like it's a rogue whole server, I think. With yeah. The, the amount of people we can get. We'll uh, out Zerg the Chinese players. Be like nothing, <laughs> nothing to us. But that that game is like, it used to be my most played game until until Voxel. Now it, I just eclipsed it. It was like 800 hours in Rust. Now I've got like a thousand in Foxhole. So I've, nice. I've got How no life. How long have you been uh, playing? Rust? Or no, Foxhole. Uh, Foxhole. Um, I bought the game in 2018, but then like literally after day one, uninstalled it. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> got back into it. It was during COVID, like 2021, because that's when I started making videos. I was like playing with friends at first, and then one of them was like, "Hey, um, you know, you should, you should." He was also a streamer too, but he was like, "You should uh, make some videos on this because I feel like it'd be good content." And also, whenever, whenever I'd play with them, I would always be the guy that's like screaming, "Like, let's charge, guys! Let's fucking go! Like, just full send it!" <laughs> and getting everyone to go and die with me. I don't, I don't know what it is, but when people hear like. Over the top, lads, let's go! And just be just charging over. They're like, all right. Pip, pip, cheerio. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been playing for like a couple of years now. But um, I don't know, man. I feel like at some point I'm going to switch off to a different game. We'll see. Not I've now. I've been saying that for like three years. <laughs> and I still come back. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, yeah. Cause there's nothing like it. Like Planet Side Two comes close, but yeah. it's not the same. I think when Anvil comes out, I will like actually switch off. Cause I I just yeah. like That's that like world at least more. A couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you uh, played it yet? I haven't played the uh, the tests yet, mainly because I just I don't feel like it's good right well, now. You got invited. Yeah. I haven't even been invited yet, dude. Real? It's so sad. Have you been? Yeah, uh, I don't know why. You requested access. Yeah, like I was one of the first ones, I think. Oh, I what the fuck? Went live, and I went with Pudsy and E Man. We all clicked together, <laughs> and I still don't have it. Oh my god, that's what the fuck? How, how have they not given it to you? <laughs> I don't know. It's been like unless they what? sent it and like I didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but would you uh, would you play that pretty heavily too or no? I think I would because uh, I'm also like a big medieval nerd. Same. Like, uh, Mountain Blade, oh, mm -hmm. dude, yeah, love, love that. that game. I saw they have Mountain a multiplayer. Blade, MMO, let's go. Yes, dude. Yes, exactly. They got a well. It's a mod that makes it kind of like an MMO for Mountain yeah, Blade. Yes, uh, for for Bannerlord. Bannerlord yeah. Or the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. I want to try that, but I know that's. Uh, I don't know that it, it's got its own like bugs and issues, but it's a mod. What can you do? But I haven't played that game in so long. I uh, I actually just picked up a. Uh, do you know what the Lenovo Legion is? Legion Go. Oh, uh, it's like a console. No, I have no clue. <laughs> it's like the Steam Deck. But, oh, okay. But it's like a Windows Steam Deck. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I just got that. I might. I. I mean, I've played Mountain Blade on Steam Deck, and it actually runs really well. But it's great for if I'm on a flight or like just traveling. So I can play on the go. But I've tried. I I used to play a little bit of like Foxhole Logi on the Steam Deck, and now I heard it's it's dead. Like they, oh. it, with the recent update, I I think they killed the Linux support for it. So R.I.P. my fellow Linux players, dude. I I feel I feel bad for you guys. Just fork over like seven hundred dollars for a you know Lenovo Legion, and you're good. It seems to be the strat. Um. 
Yeah. Uh, what else do we want to cover, man? Dude, Rust was like the very end of it. For us. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we, we just blasted through. through this. Yeah, uh, we blasted through. Man. Otherwise, what's your, what's your creative process for making videos? Here, I'll, I'll ask you some questions. All right, man. Um, creative process. So first things first, everything or what I do is I, I mean, I, I take like all the raw footage, right? I just put it in DaVinci Resolve and I like to just cut it line by line. And I like, so I don't know. I don't know if you get inspired by other YouTubers. Like for me, it's, it's Stimpy. That's a main inspiration. So I like to see like what kind of memes he's, uh, you know, he's using for his videos and I don't like, I don't like just rip like fucking <laughs> meme after meme or anything like that. But there is, uh, some overlap with some of the shit that he uses and I use, uh, just cause I, I also think it's funny. Um, but, uh, so I'll, I'll throw in some memes. My, my main thing is mainly just like, I come up with an idea of a video. So like recently it was a half track video. Like, oh, it'd be so funny if we actually like <laughs> made the half track good. And I'm like, okay, let's just say it's OP. And let's uh, let's see how far we can push this if we just play it like the right way of it's like a hit and retreat vehicle. You don't like go in a massive line like how Wardens will play like just tank lines ad nauseum. Um, we're always like playing in the back line or like flanking. So that actually that was a that was a really good video. Re was a, a great driver in that. But yeah, just, you know, I'm, I'm always thinking about like what would be an interesting idea for people to watch and go off of that to kind of start it and then editing it is mainly just like it's always going to be a meme edit video regardless but what about you uh i guess i'm i tried the meme editing thing but like i'm so bad with memes i feel like i'm a boomer with with memes like <laughs> i always come like two years uh with old two year old memes or something yeah um so i i try to make like a story out of it that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, yeah, I mean, I I stream every time I play. So whenever I'm playing Foxhole, I'm streaming. And if it's a good stream, I'll be like, okay, this can be turned into a video. Yeah. But I, I won't go out of my way to like uh, stream something for a video, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's just like, if it happens, it happens. I, uh, I've done that too, because I stream Thursday through Sunday except Sundays are for Gremlin Gazette. But like, yeah, if the stream is good, it's it's going to make it in a video and it's easier that way because you're not you're not like dedicating more time to recording because you're already recording when you're streaming. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it saves time there. Um, how long does it take you to typically like edit a video if you were like, like really, really just like dedicating a lot of t <laughs> a lot of time into it? Because I know for if me, I'm sometimes not procrastinating, it's it's two or three days. But if I'm yeah, procrastinating, yeah. it's like two or three weeks. <laughs> oh shit! I I'm I feel like I'm always on this like regimental schedule of I want to have a video out every Friday, so it, it always keeps me on track. But I used to be like that, and then uh, yeah. life, <laughs> life exactly. Uh, but for me, it's like the most important part of the video is like the first thirty seconds. Like oh yeah, you can get. If you were hooked there, then you're golden, I think. It's so. a combination of that for me and then thumbnail, but I, uh, I'm still working on that. Thumbnails are, uh, I don't know, hit or miss with me. Like, I always want to have my own, like, hand-drawn, disgusting creatures on my mm -hmm. thumbnails, but I, I feel like I, people I don't like it. How, how you're going to draw me, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait to see that. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I have to have that ready <laughs> dude, like the next. Dude, like, <laughs> I'm flying out on Wednesday. I have to edit a video for this week. And then this is going to go out next week. And I'm like, oh, bro, like I've got 48 hours to fucking haul ass if I could do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, what do you what do you think is your biggest hurdle when you're when you're editing a video? Like, do you ever get people call it like writer's block? But do you ever feel like that? Yeah, I, I guess like editor's block or something. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I know I want to do it that way, but I can't do it because the footage is not there. Mm -hmm. So I try to like mask it with like i don't know something else but if it doesn't work it doesn't work and then you have to like rethink of a whole uh, rethink a whole uh section of the video and it's like uh too much work yeah 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 I, uh, I think my main thing is oh, man. 
because I've had that happen sometimes too, where like I don't have all of the footage. I think it, what it is is like perspective, because sometimes I find myself as like a driver of a tank, or like I'm not catching. I died and I can't catch what's going on, and I'm like, fuck, dude. I like like having that footage would also be helpful. That's why some I'll ask people like if we're doing like an operation in the regiment, like hey, record if you get something, like send it over to me. I'll include you in the video, and like you know we'll we'll have a much nicer like video that way some people have also said like this is like a completely different thing i think it's more of like what um what viewers like i've heard people really like uh moy dog's version of like kind of what you were saying where it's a story but they've got like this map of the part of the battle that's going on and they're showing animations of like both of the factions like moving the front line and stuff i that's cool i just don't know how to do that i can't do that at all yeah i, I started doing that so I do, I have like a bunch of images stacked on top of each other and then I just move them individually. <laughs> nice. I don't know if, if that's how, how they do it, but that's how I do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know people have like highlighted the map, the corresponding colors and move that too. I'm like, what software are you guys using? That's crazy. But everyone's got their, yeah. their own niche and like how they, how they do their videos and what style it is. But I'm going to stick with, stick with my meme edits. I don't know anyone else that really does them. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's if it's not fun for you to make it, it's not gonna be you. It's gonna, you know, not be fun to watch as well. Exactly. You, viewers can pick up on that because you know. On that point, like, what do you? So I've I've asked this, I think, for Eman and B Floored, but like, what kind of recommendations would you have for aspiring or newer content creators? Because there's I I've seen so many videos of people doing like foxhole content and you know they're they're starting off and whatnot but like what feedback or not feedback i guess what, what advice would you give them uh start making videos that's the first uh, advice that's, yeah when you start you'll eventually learn like everything like everyone starts from somewhere you know not everyone is going to be good at a b or c but if you start and try to make every video better than the previous one then eventually you'll learn everything i think yeah. That you want to learn <laughs> yeah i feel like consistency is the the major thing like when you start that's like the first hurdle but you need to always be like like pick a day pick a week you know don't i, I don't know like it, it don't don't get like this idea that and a few of them do um like if i just do one video or like one one stream i'm gonna make it like i'm gonna have like thousands mm -hmm. of people watching me or whatever i'm like no nah, that's not real like that yeah that's unrealistic um because like my first three videos I did were like sub 100 <laughs> sub 100 views and then eventually they just like picked up but um bro my first year on YouTube was below 100 subs so you yeah know, like you have to you have to just keep pushing through yeah and just try to make every video literally pick something out of uh, your previous video and be like I'm gonna make that better if yeah. it's the intro the outro uh, midsection whatever it is yep just try to make it better yep the more the more professional it looks too i feel like that also just that helps so like what you were saying the easiest way to do that is just pick one thing and then make that better and then you you just stick with it for every other video moving forward um i had a i don't know if it was a conversation or something i saw on the foxhole discord which we got to talk about that too <laughs> in a little bit uh fucking love hate relationship but uh the the uh, what's it called? Um, people who were talking about this were saying that foxhole content should literally just be like raw footage, no oh, edits, yeah. no video, no nothing, just raw footage. And I'm yeah. like, I've seen people do that. And look, if, if that's your if that's the way you do content, that's like totally fine. I'm not going to be the first to tell you not to do it. But there is a golden rule when you make videos and if you are trying to grow your channel. If you think that you're going to grow your channel by just doing one thing and everyone's going to love it, it's not going it, to, I mean, it's, it's not going to be like that if people don't find it enjoying to watch, right? Like if people enjoy yeah. your content, they'll keep watching it. So if it works, keep doing it. Um, if they don't like it, they'll stop watching it. And that means you have to fix it somehow. Yeah. Right. I mean, I feel like viewer feedback is very important, but sometimes the feedback is just dog shit i yeah. feel like if i followed every 
uh, advice that I was given, I would still be like a one, like a one hundred uh, subscriber channel or something like that. One hundred sub like, Andy. Yeah, you gotta. I don't know. You gotta be critical with yourself as well. Yeah, I feel like, and yeah, just yeah, focus on growing. What and don't watch like the. Here's how to get five thousand views in one hour video. That's just no. a waste of time. Just yeah. Start making videos. Yeah. Just do that. Fine. We'll be fine. Find what would you like? What you're saying, right? Find what you enjoy editing and like your style. Mm -hmm. it, and I again, I I think for me the easiest way is find a YouTuber you like, and see what they're doing. And I'm not saying copy them, but like you know, there's a there's a method to their madness, and you want to replicate that to an extent, but you want to also change it so it's your own. Yeah, copy and improve. Exactly. Like something like that. You know? Yeah. If you're just making you the same jokes that somebody else is doing, like, yeah. okay, <laughs> I perfect example, perfect example. So when I when I was starting off, do you know who Booty Goblin is, the content creator? Uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. So when when I started off, his videos and my videos. Now that I think about it, he's also like a meme, like Foxhole content creator. So he would use memes that I would also use, but like I would see a meme he used. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. I would use it in a video. He would see a meme I use. He would use it in a video. There's no animosity or issue with that because guys, meme memes are just memes, right? Like fucking everyone uses them, not just in Foxhole, just like out of context. So there's there's no, no issue with like using memes for, for videos or anything like that. But like the issue would be more of like if you're replicating his because he does like cool like cinematography where he's zooming in and he's got like different like i don't know shaders i guess but like if you're doing stuff like that and literally the video looks like a rip of what he would make that's when there's an issue i feel like that's when you're you're leaning more heavily into copying versus doing something your own way but yeah just don't be afraid to take risks and like experiment with things and eventually if you just keep up with repetition you'll be you'll be climbing the ladder but yeah um yeah it's funny you mentioned the uh like listening to feedback from other people and it being dog shit i i don't know if you've ever done this i'll, I'll pin a comment if it's just fucking weird dude if it's like the weirdest fucking take on a video i'll just <laughs> pin that shit and let everyone else get to enjoy that like that meme. Probably you shame them or yeah yeah pretty much <laughs> No, I, I I used to like reply to those type of comments, but uh, the best thing to do is just ignore, ignore them. Because yeah. otherwise, yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. People. I don't know. Like, cause I I do also listen to feedback people say, even though it may not seem like it. I I do listen to what people are interested in seeing. Um. Like. People were really interested in. A lot of my like naval landing videos and i feel so bad because i want to i want to do that more and that's what people enjoyed watching on my channel but i can't i can't i feel like i'm gonna end up wasting so much time trying to do like a long a long hook video and the problem was like white whales were so cheap and accessible that it was a lot of fun and it was always goofy to do it but i don't want to like invest so much time to put into a landing at, with with an expensive ship only for it to die so um, it's yeah. yeah kind of a weird situation it's, right now yeah i mean i feel that that's why i have this philosophy of always streaming what i'm playing mm -hmm. and then you know um damn i forgot what i was gonna say uh <laughs> but i usually play with tanks so like they're kind of easy to get by so yeah yeah totally um yeah something i've seen uh something i've seen with uh the foxhole discord is uh there's this there's this guy he's got a weird obsession with uh with my thumbnails man he's like oh i think he's said four or five times he's like i fucking hate grumblo's thumbnails like they're the worst piece of shit thumbnails i've ever seen like i'm like all right dude like <laughs> Damn, you really hate these thumbnails. Dude. I, I'll check back in and I, I'll get like a notification that somebody added me. I'm like, what is going on, man? Fucking Jesus Christ. You don't even watch my videos. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, there's there's some really weird people on there. I, I, I once got accused of... Uh, fuck, what was it? 
uh have you seen like the videos where i make like the the official documentary whatever yeah it's just like a bunch uh, like a song and then like a bunch of images mm -hmm. uh s someone was like yo he's justifying genocide against wardens or something i was like what the fuck and i thought they were memeing but they were like serious and i was like yeah i'm not going in this discord ever again yeah it's just i don't know it's the the, the most weirdest people are up there I yeah feel like they're the ones, at least the ones that spend an un, ungodly amount of time online. They're the ones yeah. that are like. I mean, there's there's cool stuff there too, right? Like yeah. in the the community stuff and like sometimes I get like screenshots from there for like thumbnails and stuff. Yeah, it's like nice to see. Yeah, but yeah, I like talking to some people if like I ran into them, like if I'm fighting against a warden and I kill them, they recognize me. We'll just like talk on that Discord, um, or like banter. But yeah, the the ones that are like. Fuck this guy! He's not doing how I. He, he's not. He's not playing the game how I would play the game. Or he's he's telling people false information. I had somebody because I said that um, this was back when the naval update came out, and I was like, damn, I really wish Collies had a. Uh, I wish Collies had a, a submarine too. That they look cool. Some dude like wrote like paragraphs long about how I'm spreading misinformation and that the sub isn't actually good or something. I'm like, dude, I just said they look cool. I didn't even say they were good. What are you doing? Yeah. Yes, y'all need know, to man. chill. There's a lot of, there's a lot of passion for the game, I think, but yeah. some people put misplace that passion. They they gotta they gotta do some uh, grass touching, I guess. I don't know. It's weird because I would those are the people I would have expected to do content creation, like to to make because they're so passionate, right? Like they would make videos on Foxhole, but either they don't or they like only make a couple videos and then stop. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, I, I think know, this is gonna be a hot take. I think. <gasps> to do content creation, you have to be a little bit of a narcissist. No. Uh, oh, yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. Hot <laughs> okay. Guys, the conversation's starting. Let's go. Okay. All you right. You have to be like a little bit of a narcissist. Because at the end of the day, if you if you don't think you're the shit, if you th don't think your videos are the best thing ever, why would you ever post them? Because it's the most embarrassing um, embarrassing thing ever, you know? I feel like. Um. No? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use your logic. Okay. Damn, I, I sound like such a fucking nerd. I'm gonna use your logic <laughs> against debate. you. That's I'm gonna, debate. yeah. <laughs> Foxhole debate on live 4K. Um, you said earlier that like, you know, you're passionate about making videos, and that's that's the main reason why I make videos too. Is like I, as a kid, I would just make home home movies about random shit. Like literally, at like eight year old Grumbler would run around with a camera just recording random bullshit. Put it put it in iMovie on my Mac, yeah. and just like do that. Um. So I think that's that's also like a uh, archetype of people that make videos on Foxhole. They just enjoy like making people laugh or like they like capturing these moments and sharing them with others. There are definitely I, I'm not saying I disagree. There are definitely people who've got the narcissistic personality who are like, I'm going to just keep making what I'm making because it's the best fucking content ever. Um, but those I feel like those are the people that don't grow. They're, they're the ones that. They keep making the same stuff over and over again, and people don't watch it. Yeah, I yeah. You disagree. That's why I said a little bit of a narcissist. Okay, you, know? you still have to think your 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 thing your uh, content is the best thing ever, right? Because mm -hmm. like when I started, my first videos were, were just, there was like a cut every ten minutes or something. I was like, "Yo, this is the best shit ever, dude." <laughs> this can't get any higher and now when i watch that i'm like yo how did i post this like what the yeah. fuck is this i think that's so normal I, though because you I evolve right yeah true yeah like i don't know <laughs> when, when you when you started and when i started like as little little babies right making making videos that shit was terrible and sure maybe in that moment because we're, we're kids right like i don't know we can't think like Big picture we're just thinking in the moment and we're like damn this is fucking amazing yeah. i'm gonna like blow up from this but it's not it's not good at all and i'm sure like a year or two ago like if you look back on your videos or for me like i look recently at like my first three videos they're ass they're so bad um and i don't know why i like made them like that but you have to learn right like you have to go through the mm -hmm. trial by fire and eventually you improve so i don't mm -hmm. again if, if you were if you if you look at the videos you just made and you said these are great. I'm gonna keep making them like this. Then yeah, I feel like you're leaning more into the narcissistic thing. So that's why when I was saying like, okay, the people who are on FOD who 
bitch and complain about content creators or like what they see online for Foxel. And then meanwhile, they make like two videos and it's literally the same thing of like no edited shit, 480p. Um, they could hear the discord. Your mom is screaming and throwing plates at her dad, <laughs> at his dad in the background, like that kind of shit. Um, and you're like, this is great. I'm going to do another one. And it's literally the same thing. And then they stop that. That person is a narcissist. That person doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> what, what like, uh, yeah. Yeah. anybody says. Okay. But, maybe narcissist is the wrong word. And egotistical. Yeah. No. Egotistical. I could see I that. Think, yeah. You have to be, you have to have a little bit of an ego. I yeah. Think, uh, yeah, be like, sure. yo, video, you know, because at the end of the day, it's if you explain it to like someone who doesn't know, like uh, Fox or, or YouTube, you know, just like a normal, uh, normal uh, Andy, I guess it's like the most embarrassing thing ever. I feel like, you know, yeah, at least for me, I don't know. I, I don't tell people that I have a YouTube channel. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I, I, it's so embarrassing for me. <laughs> I, uh. I feel like it's it's also people who are just comfortable being out there, you know, like you, you have a mm, lot of strangers yeah. just watching you and True. they could they could take you any which way, man. They could just support you or tear you down. And I feel like you have to be um you have to be not not built a certain way, but you have to have like that mental fortitude. And I guess it goes right yeah. with what you were saying, that ego where like you're sure of yourself and you know what you're doing is right to a certain degree, right? Like you have that mentality of mm -hmm. I can still improve, but if somebody tells you something, you're not going to just blindly say, this person's right. I'm going to do what they say. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like that, though. Ego, you have to have that for, for like, content creation. And sometimes it's bigger than others, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as you don't use your ego to, like, belittle others. Uh, others? Oh, damn. Are you going into then, Batman Larry territory? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, no, I'm not going there, but like, just don't use it to like ruin the fun of someone like someone else. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing that I've dealt with, you know, and I've learned from it. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's like the biggest thing. What do you think about the bad man Larry situation? Should he be a permaband? Uh... No comment. No. No comment. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I thought, I thought he was a funny dude. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like, he had like funny content, mm -hmm. and I get why. Like, I get, I get why he was banned, of course. But at the same time, perma ban. I don't know. Like maybe a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I um, I didn't really see his stuff until after he got banned. Um. I never met him in person and I feel like I always judge like my like whether somebody should be banned or not based off of my experience with them and maybe that's like a bad thing because like it can't be everywhere and other people have said that you know they've had bad experiences with them but um I feel like me personally because I haven't had the chance to see what kind of person he is in game um I don't feel like he should get banned but based off of stuff that I was seeing yeah definitely like you know like suspension of some sort mm -hmm. at least for a little bit just so he can you know kind of get the get the idea of what he's doing isn't right right like you know just chill out not everyone's an alt okay they're not living in your walls um but uh yeah there, there just needs to be some sort of moderation in the game um i know people do you think he was like because this is what i've always thought i think he would play it up for the views because he got a lot of views for being toxic essentially right and i don't know if he was like that i don't know he did um, stream like a lot of hours though so actually <laughs> i don't know i think there's I feel like a ahead. perma is long though you know i agree That's yeah forever yeah i don't think perma was right um it's not like he's like if he was like doxing somebody telling people like we, we gotta go like find this guy like fucking mail a pipe bomb or something to him like yeah yeah that fucking there yeah. you go like get a perma get shredded um but uh <laughs> what he was doing was just like dude i i don't know man like that's shit that i saw when i was growing up on like the internet like fucking runescape days modern warfare 2 lobby days like it's it's no different to me and yeah. i feel like that's it's different with kids nowadays um 
like, dude, people will like want to get your ass banned or I guess canceled just for like, you're, you're just shit talking and bantering online. Um, yeah. Again, like, dude, okay, we just said this earlier, but like, oh my God, dude, I was, so I have this personal feeling that if I'm seeing something said about me on like Foxhole Discord or Reddit, wherever it might be, right? This is just general rule of thumb for me. Maybe, maybe good advice for any content creators. If somebody's talking bad about you, do not respond. Like don't, don't engage with it. Cause the way I look at it is they're rolling around in mud. And if you roll, roll around in mud with them, you're going to get dirty is, is how it's always going to be. Just ignore it. Everyone has a right to their opinion. Everyone has a right to say whatever they want about you. Um, or at least they're free to say whatever they want about you. If it's true, if it's not true, whatever. But god damn, dude, there was one guy who was pushing real hard that I'm anti-Semitic in the fucking Foxhole Discord. <laughs> I'm fucking Jewish, bro. What are you talking about? Um, but dude was just fucking going at me. He's like, he draws his purple character with a big nose. He's fucking, he hates Jews, guys. He hates Jews. <laughs> and uh, and people were buying it and agreeing. And they're like, oh my god, I didn't actually believe it. But like, yeah, you're right. Like, they were like doing background like fucking analysis on what the gremlo character is and i'm like god damn it you guys you are literally fucking autistic um but uh yeah like there there's like an there's an art to it and what how bad man larry reacted or how he reacts i guess because he's playing that character i think it gets immediately taken as like he's just a toxic guy but i've seen like God, who did I see recently? It might have been Booty or somebody else, but they were playing Anvil Empires with him. He seemed like totally level-headed and chill. So, I don't know. I don't think he's like that. Yeah. Off stream, at I least. think there's like a threshold of like hate or uh, let's call it criticism that you can get. And then at some point you have to respond. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you're, what you're saying is I need to make a respond video, huh? I don't know. That's <laughs> I. I, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know, dude. I think maybe. If oh, it's, maybe. If it's a lot of people. I nah. mean, if you get if people, because if it's in Foxhole Discord, I think you're good. Because like, who cares, you know? But if it uh, spills over to your YouTube, where people are like, "Yo, what the hell?" Nah, nah. This, this, and that. Then, then I'd be like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Nah, it's nah, not nah. True. It's it's not a big deal. I I always use it as a as a. It's a, a Mimi example, like of how, oh, okay. how, how crazy people can get is what it is. Yeah. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. negative ever came of it. Cause I think people who've played with me in game, uh, they know like the whole purpose of the regiment is for new players to learn in like a non judgmental environment. Cause sometimes people get that, like, I don't know, anxiety of their joining SOM or like some other bigger regiment. And there's like all this bureaucracy works. Um, and they, they just get, I don't know, they just get that feeling that they're like just a small peg and maybe they want to feel like part of a community. So that's what I tried to grow within the gremlins, even though on like the videos and stuff, it looks like we're a bunch of fucking Neanderthals just running around messing up people's shit. Um, that's not actually what we are. We, you know, play with other regiments and, you know, the main goal is always to have fun. So I think mm -hmm. that's, I think that's why it's never reflected like that because i i always I, i've used the same before like if a lie is is told it's not it's not gonna last if like people see the truth and so you you end up seeing that like like people in my community they're not like that uh i've banned people who were toxic um on the discord or just like said some weird shit in game i'll like kick them from the regiment um but yeah i mean I can't, like I said, I can't stop a random person from Foxhole Discord saying something. Like, that's just, yeah. I feel like you you add more fuel to the fire when you end up, like, addressing it. So that's why I'd rather just, you know, leave it alone. True. Yeah. It's only, like, three people anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird when, it's weird how people, like, bring, like, in-game stuff outside of the game. Yeah. Like, I guess with, like, faction, uh, factionalism. That's yeah. the, the, the word that's used now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's so weird. It's, like, Guys, it's just a game. It's not that deep. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, they they take it to Reddit, dude. I, I I also stay out of there. I mostly just go there to post the video. I'm never like yeah, commenting. I go there for screenshots, but nothing else. <laughs> yeah, god damn. That's just the the price we pay with a small indie game. The fucking 
the community is very passionate. Mm -hmm. But all right, man. So we've been going for a little over an hour now. Let's move into the Q&A because that can kind of get a little long, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you put your questions in the chat and we'll read them. Whatever it is, it don't matter. We'll read it. Uh, I know some of you guys are asking if I'm reading this chat, if this is a pre-recorded stream. It is not. We are live. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> God damn it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, also, before we get started, we're going to quickly run through the uh, followers for today's stream. Thank you, Timmy Kirsten and Monkey House Live for the follows. Thank you, boys, so much. We're going to start off with YouTube, uh, YouTube comments and questions, mainly because it's looking kind of short there it'll be quicker to go through uh let's see uh meal meal valis was asking what did i say during the beef lord stream that caused the uh the devs to take off the fucking video um i'm not gonna go we'll into specifics again, they'll, they'll take this one off <laughs> yeah right i'm like i'm not gonna go into specifics per se but we were Okay, first of all, I'm going to just preface this first because we preface this at the very end of the stream when people probably checked out because they're like, oh, these guys fucking suck. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no, everything we say on these streams is a joke, you guys. All right. It's just a joke. It's not serious. We don't mean anything. It's all just a meme. Okay. It's just a prank, bro, is really what it is. <laughs> um, I this this part is serious. I fundamentally believe you should keep real world stuff out of like videos and content creation and stuff like that. I know there are like content creators that do like the whole like we're going to talk about drama and, you know, Foxhole drama. Sure. But I'm not going to talk about like real world drama. Um, that's it's already depressing as it is. So the whole point of my videos, at least, is to be entertaining so that you guys can forget about that. And the same goes with these streams. If we talk about real world stuff, it's always in a joking manner. Um, if people are serious about it, I usually just, you know, pivot to something else because I don't want nobody getting stressed out. All right. Um, yeah. But yeah, basically, I was just talking about we were talking about how like one of the devs uh, is a furry and um, and that's why uh, there's like a huge furry community in the game. Again, I don't really give a shit if you're a furry or not, um, but I guess some people took problem with that. Also, like if it's a legitimate fact, who the fuck cares? Um, own that shit, bro. Own it. I said some other stuff too. You can always check out the stream and, uh, there you go. You know, you'll know more. Um, all right. Let's see. E-man. <laughs> what's up, man? Grimlo does fencing. Yes. Um, oh, what's up, Gent Ferk? Gent is better? Hell no, dude. What the hell? What? What are you saying, Gent? Somebody said Gent is better. Shut what's, up. What's it's Gent? Not. That's the other city. I work there and it's not better. It's worse. Oh shit! God damn it! How far is Ghent from where you live now? Uh, thirty minutes with the car. That's not bad. Yeah. Damn. Uh, Cole Smith. I keep telling myself I'm gonna f make a video with my best clips, but I always forget to record while I play. Dude, first thing you gotta do is just have OBS open, hit record. Yeah. Just forget about it oh. after that. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Um, Cole Smith, give Badman Larry parole at least. Yes, dude. <laughs> give him give him parole with the devs, and then they all have to stream with him like it's a parole meeting. And then like he's gotta oh, wear dude, an orange that'd jumpsuit. So <laughs> that <was> so good. <laughs> oh my god. You know, if I get him on the podcast, I'm gonna ask if he can come on with the fucking uh, orange jumpsuit. I'll like put I'll put jail bars over his fucking picture. If he's cool with yeah. it. It'd be a funny meme. I think um, he used to do that when he when he used to get banned. He would put jail bars on his uh, webcam. That's awesome. That's, that's so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, Cole Smith. I grew up with CS:GO voice chat. I'm used to toxicity. Oh yeah, dude. Ooh, CS:GO. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, I miss that game. I used to be pretty okay yeah. with it, but uh. oh, what's up, Booty Goblin? Talk shit, but you were talk shit. What was the high? Did you play ranked at all? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, the four star thingy, gold. Yeah, gold, gold Nova. Uh, that was yeah, that was my highest. Oh, and I yeah. was getting uh, boosted to the Kingdom Come. Oh my god. Yeah, that was <laughs> the highest for me too. But those days are gone. Um, Batman Larry was cool. Was a cool dude when I met him. Yeah, Booty. I thought you met him when you were playing like Anvil or something. You seemed like totally chill. 
you know, funny guy. But, you know, I guess if you look like an alt, he'll, uh, he'll mm. spank you for it. I mean, the guy did stream like 18 hour stream, so he was probably sleep deprived. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> We're just going to make excuses. I'll stop defending. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you don't understand how stressful it is to live in a basement, okay? That's literally where my stream is right now, all right? It's fucking stressful. Um, Cole Smith again. Uh, a little Neanderthal tribalism wait what oh you're saying we're a little neanderthal yeah you know a bit but like we're not again we're not toxic neanderthal we're just neanderthal neanderthal we're gremlin neanderthal all right um yeah yesterday or not yesterday day one we like held down a, a street in the back line and if people drove too fast and ran somebody over we killed them but you know it's <laughs> it's it's funny you know it's funny we had to sign in everything we said slow down like slow down children at play you know <laughs> And they just fucking go down 50 miles an hour running people over, man. We gotta stop that. We need traffic laws in Foxhole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> traffic police. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Cole Smith, what makes you burn out in Foxhole? All right, Booty, what makes you burn out? Or not Booty, Creepy. What the fuck? Oh, uh... <laughs> um, Booty Banana. No, um... Booty Banana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what makes me burn out? I don't know, man. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's just too much. I feel like like um, thirty days of the same war. Mm -hmm. It's just too much sometimes. Um, yeah, it's probably that. <laughs> the wars are too long. That's the burnout. I think for me, um, I I feel like managing a regiment burns me out a lot. Um, and it's not managing the people inside per se, but it's like. It's it's managing like the interactions with other regiments and coalitions at the same time because of interactions they're having with people in the regiment or like you know stuff that's going on. Like recently, we had I think two or three different um, regiments try to like build on top of us in our hex, and I'm like, guys, we have an entire fucking hex. What are you doing? And one of the guys tried gaslighting me and said we have priority claim because we were here first. Your sign that said that you have claim was like two hours after I built mine, which was four hours ago or whatever. I'm like, bro, you built this literally today. We were here day one on Wednesday. So you built this two days after the war started. What are you talking about? You were here first. Um, so I feel like all that shit is like like the politics of it all. It just I'm like, guys, let's just fucking play the game. Like if you see somebody building here and you wanted to build here too, either ask if you can, you know, team up or whatever, or just go somewhere else. Like that's what I would do. I'm not going to just like bully my way in or something like that i think also people just get i don't know super butthurt about stuff easily um mm -hmm. that that all yeah. just rubs me the wrong to, way i used to do the whole uh podcast thing with uh pudsy mm -hmm. and he used to say the same thing like every uh, every podcast he was like bro the this like the interactions with other clans and stuff is yeah. always very uh yeah you know, rough dude i had this happen literally yesterday um i'm not gonna say the person's name but I was doing public logi and I was putting stuff in an iron ship and this guy was like, Grumbler, are you AFK? Grumbler, are you AFK? And I was just ignoring him because his tone was immediately just like, he was, he was looking for problems. And then he starts typing in region chat, like, wake the fuck up. And I'm like, what's wrong, dude? What, all right, what's wrong? And he's like, you're you're taking too long on the pad. The the other guy on the pad was able to fill up three containers, and you're you're either asleep AFK or you're pulling from public. I'm like, yeah, I'm pulling from public. What's the issue? I'm doing public logi, and he's just like, you're wasting my time. Blah blah blah. I'm like, holy shit, dude. I'm like, dude, who took a crap in your Cheerios? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm like, hopefully your day gets better. If this is the worst it's at right now, Jesus Christ. Um. What's up, Kronos? Yeah, someone say public logi. No good deed goes unpunished, man. God forbid you touch public logi. Um. Anyway, well, I mean that was good with the uh, burnout stuff. Yeah, there's there's always gonna be a different answer per person, but damn. Um, let's see. Carson Stearns eels were talked about a lot. Yeah, and they they still are. Eel soup, guys, look it up. Uh, Carson Stearns also said speeding in a gremlin zone should be illegal. It is, and you will get shot. It's just how it goes. Um, Paul Smith was saying that either long queues, 
Uh, for me, it's either long queues or I'm enjoying other games more is what burns him out from Voxel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Have you played Baldur's Gate? No, not Fucking yet. Good, dude. Really? Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I can't stop playing it. I've been playing a lot of Dark and Darker. That's like my go-to right now. You know what that is? I know what it is, but I have no clue like what the gameplay is. It looks like a scary game. And yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the best thing to do. You got to get those jump scares. Uh, I'm, I'm a pussy. I don't play scary. <laughs> that's if I was gonna do like uh like a short term break from Voxel, that's what I would be playing Dark and Darker. But I've been abused too much by that community, so I'm gonna take a break for now. They they think I'm a stimpy clone. Like guys, come on, come on now. Um, Dark and Darker video win booty. Hey man, if you want to team up, I'm down do it all right let's move over to twitch chat uh let me just make this bigger so i can read it guys again if you just joined uh put in your questions in the chat and we will get to that when we get to it so let's get started here um creepy banana uh king of swede said creepy banana got on his best shirt for this one <laughs> Gremlin yep. couldn't be bothered to put on anything but that crusty, dirty t-shirt, bro. Look at my streamer dog. <laughs> hey, man. Come on. Look, I should have had yeah. a full suit. Maybe that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to have a full suit on. You should have a suit. You're yeah. like a gazette. Like, yeah, yeah. You should do a full suit. It's like suit. an interview. God, I'm going to be so uncomfortable doing that. But yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. <laughs> you do have a really nice shirt on. You look like you're ready for a tropical vacation. It's really warm here. That's why I'm going to something at, later at night as well so oh hell yeah dude all right let's keep going uh let's see let's see got a lot of comments here scarlet dream man got shadow banned yeah and no, i i don't know if the devs i don't think the devs hate me but i think there's one guy that probably does i don't know who somebody somebody on the team does not like me um the, yeah the furry guy <laughs> <laughs> probably devs i legitimately uh, don't hate you guys i i think you have a great game every every video i do where i talk about the good or the bad i'm always like you know praising when it's good and trying to be respectful if it's bad i'm not just like fix the fucking game but hey it is what it is um king of swedes so the next topic is israel v palestine creepy banana let's hear your take all right, I'm waiting. Uh, yeah, no, no, no nope. comments. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving along. All right, fair enough. We're gonna keep going. All right. Um, arthritic gamer took one look at eel soup and said, "No, delete that shit." <laughs> oh man, dude, eel soup is—it's a fucking health issue. Okay, that's the whole thing. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um. Thriller said the iron ship is the same as the large ships now. Yeah, yeah, that is. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, man, it's it's real cringe. It's not good. Uh, all honors. Ask Creepy Banana if he's recreated Mannequin, please. Wait, what? Mannequin Belgian lore? What's Mannequin? Oh, uh, Monica Pess. It's, uh, you should look it up. Monica uh, Pess? Yeah, it's cultural uh, heritage. It's It's a very nice statue. Everyone's done that at some point, I think. Right, it's I'll just a see. kid peeing. That's a statue. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That should be in the thumbnail of your next video. <laughs> All honors. How would you know that, dude? You're not even Belgian. He's an IRL buddy of mine. He, there's no way. What the fuck? <laughs> um, let's see. Some deep Belgian lore right there. Yeah. Right King of Sweet, isn't that tea time? Are you talking about the british thing maybe is maybe that it was tea time and that's why everyone was closed dude yeah you were gonna joke about the stabbing oh you were gonna joke about it was a stabbing yeah dude classic uk we've got our uh our shootings and the uk's got their stabbings um let's see as long as the trolleys aren't exploding you're good has that ever happened is that a thing in belgium or belgium do trolleys, trolleys? Do they explode there? I don't know. No. I don't think so, no. Okay. Well, I mean, we've, we've had trains derail and explode. 
Oh yeah, there was a train that derailed like recently, but mm. I, don't, I don't think people died. I think it was okay. Eamon said creepy as an alcoholic. Do you want to respond to that? Uh, used to be an alcoholic. I'm uh, reformed. There okay. we go. So hard yeah, alcohol of to. choice, like no tequila, no rum. Like what? Where do you draw the line? Oh. Uh, I mean, I I actually love tequila. It's the the main thing that I usually drink. Oh, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I used to like stream drunk. It was bad. It was not good. <laughs> you know, I wanted to do that, but <laughs> no, it's really bad. <laughs> That's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> There's a huge liability issue there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, King of Swede, bro. I have no idea why my podcast got removed from the Foxhole community page. Anyway, you ever butt chug a beer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Alligator or Bilgewater Jones said alligator shots. It's where it's at. What's an alligator shot? Have you had that? What is that? I'm looking this up right now. Oh, it's like a legitimate shot. That's boring. I thought it was going to be like you take an alligator tail or something and you have to like eat that and take a shot of something on fire. It's melon liqueur, half an ounce of melon liqueur and half an ounce of coconut rum and pineapple juice. That sounds good. I I just got sex with an alligator cocktail recipe. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> huh? Maybe that's what he's talking about. Sex Maybe. with an alligator? What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's a YouTube. Oh no, it's not. Tipsy bartender. Fucking freaks. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna click away. Yeah, don't click any further. God forbid something plays through your audio. <laughs> Just start hearing smacking. Um, this king of Swede. This community is way too chaotic for a safe Minecraft server. That's the whole point. It's not gonna be a safe server. Absolutely not. That's why you gotta be spread out. E-Man says we should also do a rust wipe. I agree. You down, man? You down, creepy? We're gonna I'm down. roll I'm a down. server. I'll probably like leak all the codes and stuff on stream, but you know. That's it'll fine. Be fun. That's fine. Nobody will find us. Nobody will know which which server we're on, except for like the hardcore rust players. Um King of Sweet, I feel like there's some rust crossover in Voxel. I don't know, man. I, I feel like there's a huge like War Thunder, Hoi 4, like grand strategy game type crossover mm -hmm. what do you yeah. think creepy yeah more like the historical games yeah. like that or like uh, what's it called um hell let loose stuff like that as well yeah and squad i think main mainly from moy dog there's like a huge squad crossover because i know he does a lot of videos on that game um dh 0.5 percent till t2 facility tech i know man i'm gonna be on there after i gotta just you know edit a video <laughs> Fucking take me like eight hours or something. Um, let's see. Frerick, what's up, man? Just start recording in quotes. Hey, man, you disagree? Come on. He says the content should be what you think it should be. Ooh. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I mean, that kind of. I mean, yeah. If you if you don't enjoy the content you're making, you're not you know not gonna be good. But you know, I think. Yeah. So. I mean. Yes and no, like, it should be what you think it should be. Yeah, because, you know, you have your own style of editing. You have your own, like, ideas. But, again, like, if you think that oh, I'm just going to, like, have 360p footage of Foxhole with, like, you know, the sound of my computer roaring in the background and, you know, my kid brother screaming at me, throwing, punching holes in the wall. I don't know, man. Like, that, that that's where there needs to be a balance. I think there's a balance with it. So, yeah. Um, let's keep moving on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Does Grumble even read the chat box? Monkey House? Yes, man. It's not pre recorded. I'm telling you. Don't listen to Creepy. It's not pre recorded. It's pre recorded. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. King of Swede wants me to read Poo Poo Pee Pee. There you go, man. That's for you. Mwah. Uh, Monkey Man, this dirty man has made me excited to unlock half tracks. Have you seen that video or nah? It's okay, you won't hurt my feelings if you say no. Yes. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Oh. <laughs> Laying straight through his teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited for it too, you guys. I'm honest to god, 
Uh, we're going to make it even better. We're going to do Bane Gang on half tracks. It's going to be great. It's going to be better than tank line. That's literally going to be the colonial counter to every single warden tank line. Mark my words. Um, Freck, why make videos if you can shit on somebody else's work? <laughs> what? True. I mean, the, the, the drama T yeah. content, you know, that, that bangs always, dude. There's yeah. always like a big demand for that. It's just that it says something about our society, dude. We just need drama content. But it's like reality TV. Like, people watch that shit because they love the drama. Yeah. It's just infected the uh, internet culture now. Take us back to commentary videos, you guys. Come on. You know, just like some, some blank content in the background and commentary. Or like actual playthroughs. Those, those were wholesome videos. King of Sweet said he's going to be subbing the creepy banana just for the you have to be a little bit of a narcissist comment. Holy, I've made so many small mid-sized content creators mad with that take. <laughs> yeah, you made all the narcissists mad because you exposed them. <laughs> but All right, let's see. King of Sweet, my question for creepy banana is what is your social security number? <laughs> they don't have that, dude, in Europe. That's an American thing. Come on. Yeah, we call it something else. We call yeah. it a uh, Rake's Register number. So, if you asked that, I would have told you, but. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Arthritic said, People still think Grumlow is banned every time I say I see Free Larry in game. It's followed by Free Grumlow. Yeah, you guys, you guys fucking gaslit the community. Now they're all saying I'm banned. <laughs> and then they see me in chat and they're like, Grumlow, we thought you were banned. What happened? And I have to like play you along with say, it. Yeah, I just got un unbanned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just play along with it. I'm like, yeah, I got banned for <laughs> eel soup. So. Every time you log off, you gotta be like, bro, I'm getting banned. What the hell? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I read Cronus's comment. Cronus, when you when are you doing public logic? Actually, you're already doing public logic. What am I talking about? I saw you. Uh, I saw you streaming earlier. Um, let's see. E man said, Grumblo, ask Creepy who would win in a fist fight, Creepy or Ward Wardenson? Uh, wouldn't happen. It's not possible. <laughs> the world would end before that happens. Speaking of fights, we gotta talk about this, Creepy. Remember the uh, bayonet fight that E man hosted? What yeah. happened, bro? You fucking laid on the ground during our fight. Okay, the first time was a misclick, and then I was like, <laughs> okay. If I do it again, they'll think I'm super good. And if I win, it'll be insane. But I, <laughs> I couldn't get back up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was scared shitless. I'm like, this guy, this guy's going to eat my asshole. <laughs> and then you just laid down. I'm like, I'm going to take it. I don't care. I'm going to just fucking go for it. But li literally the first time I was like, shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> uh, that was funny. I know everyone was rooting for you, too. And they were just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Uh, that was good. We gotta get again. We gotta get another one of those in. That's gonna be good. Yeah. Alrighty, man. You know what you gotta do. Come on. I've got the racing. You've got the bayonet fight. Um. Let's see. Does banana have any takes on sonic inflation? What does that even mean? Uh, no takes. I know what that means. King of Sweet. Are you talking about like literally Sonic, like the fucking hedgehog? Or are you talking about Sonic the restaurant? I think he's talking about Sonic the Hedgehog being pregnant. Oh. Oh, uh, is that a thing? I think so. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Oh, God, that's weird. <laughs> and now they're posting free Grumblow in chat. Thanks, guys. Yep, one day. Uh, Adi, you can't ignore my question forever. What did What did you say? Something about Tab G, I bet. All right, do you know what Tab G is? I'm going to assume it's Tab G. Creepy Banana, have you played Tab G? Will you be playing Tab G? Alright, that's... Uh, I have no clue what it is. That's it, Adi. You've got your answer. There it is. Um, <laughs> Arthritic. Creepy only drinks on days ending in Y. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Got him. <laughs> got a bit... Yeah. <laughs> Look. I've gone to rehab. It's fine now. I'm good now. Yeah. <laughs> the man says it's pre-recorded. Yeah, I was skipping that question. And now, now it seems like it's pre-recorded. Um, let's see. What the fuck? Hundred ass said something. And in... what do you speak? Is it Belgian that you speak or German? 
Dutch. Dutch. That's a fancier word. Okay. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. He speak a Dutch. What's we can cope if hell is? You're gonna have to read that. I can't read that. What? Where? Hundred ass. It's like near the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's not Dutch. That's like, like Swedish. Swedish. I oh, never mind that. Vikan Kloppe Helle. Yeah, that's Swedish, or something like that. <laughs> God. Local banana peel on stream. I, I don't get that, Mister Cuttlefish. I'm sorry. Uh, Lord, that will you wear tab G sounded so much like will you wear wigs? Will you wear tab G? How do you wear tab G, bro? What is tab G? Totally accurate battlegrounds. It's like a oh. free battle royale game that Adi has been asking everyone to play in the Discord. And unfortunately, I will not be playing that because I don't play games that start with the letter T. Damn. Don't play, <laughs> not playing uh... Tab G unfollowed. Ah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh, Cole Smith, didn't Free Gremlo start in War 109? It did, yeah. People were. Uh, seeing all the free Larry's and they were like, let's do free Gremlo. Also, I think it was because I like stopped playing for a little bit. I was just, I needed a break. So they were saying that I got banned. <laughs> Arthritic, what language do you speak? Belgians. It's complicated. What? Yeah, because it's technically like three languages that we yeah. should be able to speak. I only know one, so. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Cuttlefish, my joke was three minutes late. Oh, well. That's that's the that's what you get with the live you know live audience you know uh, I'm reading all these comments I can't I can't get to yours in time unfortunately that's my B Adi not playing oh yeah I already read that uh, last one Lord will you play Tab G fuck my life uh, no I will not <laughs> Creepy are you gonna play you already said no right so no <laughs> it's not happening sorry guys maybe next time we'll we'll play Rust though we'll play Rust it'll be a good time all right guys we are fully caught up with chat um we are at the end of the gremlin gazette went on for a pretty good while here um always love the q a section you never know what you're gonna get but uh creepy again thank you so much for joining for the stream today i hope you enjoyed yourself um hope you learned something new and uh yeah, i learned uh fucking eel soup dude I'll hell yeah it dude later. it's the fucking gift that keeps on giving i'm telling you <laughs> um, let's get your link put in chat. Anything you want to say to the audience before we hop off? Uh, no, not really. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and when are we going to see your next video, man? When's it dropping? Uh, when I start working on it, I haven't even uh, begun. So, uh, don't know yet. <laughs> Guys, there's Creepy's YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. He also streams on Twitch. Let me guess, whenever whenever you want, or do you have a set schedule? I want. Whenever he wants, fuck yeah. That's the way to do it. All right. I'll, I'll stream in like five minutes, maybe. I don't know, if I feel like it. Everyone, we're going to raid Creepy's stream in five minutes. We're going to hold them to it. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Thanks again so much. Thanks again, Creepy. And I will see you all in the next one.